As little pop-up surprises in each and every show. This is your pop-up sale price. Now, it will not last forever, and it is rare that we premiere an, an item on sale, right? If it's brand new today, it's like, okay, we just premiere it, and that should be enough, but no, no, no. We're gonna take $20 off of your suede ankle boot with buckle. It's called the Ash Everglade, and you are the first to get it. I look at this style, and it gives me today's special value vibes. Like, I could see this being an Earth TSV that you know, we do in a bunch of colors. We present it all day long. It sells out by 6 p.m. Like people get excited about it kind of as a representation of where fall fashion is going. Like every year we all kind of wait and see what each brand brings to us as their take on fashion for fall. And I look at this and I go, this is the Earth brand take. And oh, I love it. But I could see it costing so much more. Look at that style. Once again, play that game, kind of get in the habit because I have some, you know, high end designers and I will uh, watch their runway shows online and, you know, check out their fashion week offerings and I never buy, right? The prices are absurd. But if you put any name, like a great American designer's name on this boot, what would it cost? Because I see it being far more than $99.95. The easy pay would probably be $99.95. In this case, the easy pay is $19.99. Three colors. Two are very similar, but we'll delineate in just a second. So this is your tan, and it's the tan I think that we really get to see. The burnishing, the highs, the lows, the love that's been given to the suede, and when you bring in this kind of burnished and worn metal hardware, it just gives that look of, you know, it's seen a lot of life, but it's got a lot of life left in it. Okay, now I'm wearing them in the black, and the black has the gunmetal hardware, rich black suede. Give this a spray with your suede treatment and just wear it throughout fall and winter. And it's the suede booty that my friends in Texas and New Mexico are still gonna wear, right? Does it come all the way up to the knee? Now, hopefully you can see this. These two are really, really close, all right? And I'm gonna put the gray next to the black so that you can see the difference because it is a very, very dark gray. And when you, oh, that's good. Okay, when you see it next to the black, you can definitely tell the difference. In certain light and angles, they're very, very similar. But if you, because I was saying earlier, like get a gray boot, right? And if you don't or you shy away from them because they're really, really light gray, then go with this one because it has that darker gray appeal. All right, so already popular. Um, and we do have mediums and wides, just so you know. And when this sale is over, which is just a couple of days, the price goes up to almost $120, 8384353. But Susan, I really do think, you know, at this point, kind of know the brand enough that when I look at a style, I go, this is where they're headed for fall. Like I see this being representative of where you guys are going for this next season. Yeah, I agree. This boot kind of, um, it, it really encap encapsulates what's happening for fall. And the fact that you have it on in black and I have it in tan here at home, they kind of had different personalities, yeah. don't they? Depending on the color. The black, it's channeling a little more of that moto vibe. Mm -hmm. What I really enjoy about the black is that gunmetal harness um, kind of strap detail on the side there. And then you can see that burnished kind of oiled toe that we're doing as well. So you see the highs and lows of the suede. You see that burnished kind of lived in yeah. vintage vibe. The toe shape on this is really beautiful. This has a little bit of that lug feel, but it's not over the top. So what I also enjoy about it is it's only about one inch of a heel, maybe yeah. a little more than an inch of a heel. So you're going to feel stabilized and balanced in this, but it's going to do all those fashion things that you need it to. I think you hit on a really important point that honestly didn't occur to me until just now. Like I think about what most of the show has been, um, say for like the sneakers that we had earlier, and they've all had a heel. Now that said, they all have the kind of level to the ground support that we expect from Earth. But if you are looking for a lower profile in a shoe and you go, well, I love the boot style, but you know, I'm just, I'm not going to do a two, two and a half, three inch heel every single time. Certainly from a practicality standpoint, this is the one. And again, when we talk about, you know, just bringing that heel profile down does nothing to how versatile a style this is going to be. And I love showing it to you, the detail in that tan, because that's where we really get to see the detail of the highs and lows. And that has been the most popular choice so far. I think for those of you who are going, yep, I'm doing it mostly in jeans this year. This is that look. But you could also style this with that today's special value blazer with a denim jacket and a cute little dress right now. Have fun with this now, enjoy it later. And the thing is, it doesn't 
end up collecting dust in your closet. We've all done this. You bought the boots because they were cute. And then when you're making that decision in the morning, I have a lot of clothes like this too. I go, eh, I'll wear that on a day where I don't care that I'm uncomfortable, which is no day <laughs> at this point, right? You know, I want to be comfortable every single day now. You've got the shoes that you bought because they were cute and you're not wearing them unless maybe you're going to dinner and you're going to be seated most of the time. And most of us aren't even doing that right now. But this is the shoe that you go to and you make excuses to wear because of power path, because of support, because of comfort. You buy it for style, you wear it for comfort, and you end up getting the best of both worlds. Yeah, you really do. If, if this is that boot that if you can only buy one boot for the season, this would be a great choice because it's giving you the fashion that you that you want, you need, you crave, but it's giving you the comfort as well that we all need right now. So if you have one boot that you put on in the morning and you realize that you're cooking dinner at seven o'clock at night and you're still wearing it, that that's what this boot is. It's about that comfort story that's on the inside. And then I love looking at it on Amy here with the joggers. Notice that the boot has a little bit of room at the top. Notice the notch that detail on the front and then on the back, that kind of that uh, finger hook loop at the front, the harness detail. I mean, there's so much detail on this that it's just gonna really um, complement your outfit. All right. Even if your outfit is just denim and a t-shirt right now. We have 400 orders right now. Most of those are in the tan. I, I want to ask a question because I did see it in our last show. Do we have the ability to do the split screen where we can show Amy on one side and me on the other? And if we don't or that takes too much time, just let me know. Okay. Because it just occurred to me as I was seeing Amy, I'm like, technically we're kind of sort of wearing the same outfit. Like she's in joggers, she's in a sweater. I'm in a sweatshirt and I'm in the anybody, but we're in different colors. However, she's wearing the exact same boot in the same color. And I go, that just kind of proves my point. Now, of course, black goes with anything. But when I see and I look at different outfits and I go, that's how versatile it's going to be in your own wardrobe as well. And if we can't pull it up, that's OK. We can just switch back and forth between Amy and myself. Um, and I also wanted to show that to you because we're wearing the black. And I know that the tan has been really popular. And I want you to maybe think outside of that box and think of, uh, you know, maybe some different ways that you can wear. OK, wait, let me. OK, here we go. All right, cool. <laughs> See what I mean? Like the, the, the uh, silhouettes are very much the same, but the styling is different and the shoe is exactly the same. I, you know, zhuzhed my pants up. I have different colors on. Amy's got different, you know, she has the green, she has the, the tan and it works both times. So you don't necessarily have to go by what you see on the models or the hosts or the guests. Use your fashion, your aesthetic and work the shoes around it because when it comes from a brand like this, it's going to work every single time. So thank you for showing that to me. All right, so um, let's get a closer look at our colors and we'll recap for you with over 400 orders. And keeping in mind, of course, because you're going to hear this a lot throughout today and tomorrow, that when we say sale price, I know a lot of us kind of go, well, for how long? Or, you know, what does that mean? Basically, when our preseason style event ends, which is very soon, then that price is going to go up to $119.95. Here it is in the tan. There's your black. And then just a little bit lighter than the black is a deep, dark gray color choice. Five easy payments of $19.99, A38-4353. Just a great debut from Earth. We're really excited to have it. So with that said, looks like I talked fast enough because we have enough spare time as in like a minute and a half to talk about our one time only because the price is about to expire and 1400 orders have been placed. So Sue, we're gonna bring this out real quick. Here's the thing, okay. We brought this, I don't know, it was like 15, 20 minutes into the show. 1400 orders were placed in a minute and a half. <laughs> the price goes up. Oh gosh, this is giving me anxiety. Okay, I mean, it's different when it's the end of the day.